Hello! Welcome back to Child Shack, I'm Ian Johnston and today we're talking about pedals. Before we get stuck into things I've got to say a big shout out to the guys at Tarty Bikes for getting involved with Child Shack and making it possible for me to create information videos such as this as well as the review videos that I'm doing. Can't talk about pedals without talking about shoes. If you're looking for the grippiest pedals possible then one of the biggest influencing factors is going to be what shoes you're wearing for riding. Personally I use these Ride Concepts live wire shoes, but I've also previously used uh, 510s. These are some 510 free riders that I've found are really good for if you're running platform pedals. So the different types of pedals, here I've got some cage pedals and then a few different types of platform pedals. What I find when you're running cage pedals is that it's easier to move your feet around on the pedal itself. Sometimes with platform pedals, once you have foot is seated on the pins it's quite difficult to uh, twist your foot around if it's not quite on the pedal as you'd like it. Cage pedals allow a bit of movement but still provide plenty of grip. In terms of materials we've got these Echo TR cage pedals and also these Jitsi aluminium platform pedals that are both aluminium and then I've got a couple of um, nylon pedals here. These Nuke Proof Neuron Evo pedals which are nylon plastic pedals but with metal replaceable pins and then these DMR V6 pedals which have got the pins built in. One of the things I like about plastic pedals is if you're running metal pedals then unless you've got silver pedals at some point that paint's going to scratch off and you're going to have all these silver scratchy marks. You don't get that with plastic pedals of course because the colour's all the way through so as you scratch them on walls or rocks when you're riding then you've still got them white. Not that I think white's a very good colour. I actually cleaned these up for this video and they still look pretty dirty. It's a bit like riding with um, white shoes. Maybe not the best idea if they're gonna go in the dirt. You might think weight is a deciding factor when choosing your material of pedal, but the weight uh, difference between these Jitsi pedals and these DMR V6s, there's nothing really in it. They're 333 grams and 334 grams, so one gram difference. Replaceable parts is quite a nice idea if you're going to be using pedals for mountain biking. I can imagine that's quite important. Nice to be able to regrease your bearings and keeping them running nice. Have replaceable parts, replaceable pins. In reality, I ran these Nuke Proof Neuron Evo pedals for just under a year and a half. Ended up replacing them because of damaged pedals and not because I've lost any pins. In reality. If you lose a pin, it's more likely going to be because you bashed it on a rock or a wall and it's actually ripped the, pen, the pin out of the material of the pedal, in which case you're not going to be able to screw in a new pin anyway. I've not actually lost any pins off these, but they have cracked in various places. Personally, I think the strength of plastic pedals versus aluminium pedals is negligible. I've seen people snap um, metal platform pedals before if you're going to whack things into walls and rocks then at some point that might happen whatever material you go for so going by price uh, both the Jitsi platform pedals and the Echo TR pedals are around £45 these Nuke Proof pedals are £40 or just under £40 these DMR nylon pedals are actually only £17 a pair um, and now that I've used some of these I'm more likely to pick a cheap set of pedals because I treat them a bit like consumables. If I'm going to have to replace them every year and a half then I'm going to be a lot happier about replacing a nice cheap set of pedals as long as they do the job. If I mentioned tools as well, typically pedals use a 15mm spanner to be fitted and when fitting the pedals a good tip is you can run the cranks backwards to tighten up the pedal and then you don't have to remember which way the thread goes on the left and right pedal. Left and right pedals are marked with an L or R on the pedal axle itself. Some pedals such as these Nuke Proof ones use an Allen key instead of a spanner so the Nuke Proof ones use an 8mm Allen key or pedals quite often use a 6mm Allen key like these DMR V6s you can use a 6mm Allen key or 15mm spanner. 
My plan is to review each of these pedals, so I want to hear from you. If you're running any of these sets of pedals, then give me a shout, drop me a message in the comments, and hopefully we can have a chat about them and see what you think. The other good news about Tarty Bikes getting involved is that I've got more products to review and some pedals are getting added to the giveaway. So it's a, the 500 subscriber giveaway. A winner will be picked at random from the subscriber comments on any Trial Shack video and you'll be able to pick whether you want some platform or cage pedals thrown in with the giveaway bundle. For more details on the giveaway, check out the Instagram stories on the Trial Shack Instagram page. That's about it for today. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.